Today I'm really excited to do a product review of the Bluetti AC200 Max and the reason I'm so excited to do this product review is because I was actually considering buying one of these for my van and the reason I was going to buy one of these is because it can do something none of the other power packs can do. So I'd like to start off by saying thank you to Bluetti for sending me this power pack so that I can make this video. So let's take a real close look at the Bluetti AC200 Max and see what it has to offer and why I'm so excited to have this in my van. So let's start off by talking about the battery inside this unit. It is a LiPo 4 battery, which means you'll get an estimated 3,500 cycles with a lifespan of around about 10 years. That is incredible. Now the battery size is 2,048 watt hour. Now I know in the van life community, we are used to dealing with 12 volt batteries and amp hours. So I've done the maths and it works out around about the equivalent to a 170 amp hour 12 volt battery. And that's another reason I'm excited to have this unit installed in my van. Not only am I gonna save a ton of weight, I'm also going to gain a lot more amp hours that I can use from this unit compared to my AGM batteries. Now talking about batteries, the one good thing about this unit is if 170 amp hours isn't quite enough for your needs, don't worry because this unit, unlike any other, you can actually expand it using these two ports. You could add another two batteries if you so wish to do so. That is what excites me about this unit. So if I find 170 amp hours isn't enough for me, I can simply go and get another battery and plug it straight into this unit and expand in my battery capacity. <laughs> for me, that is a winner. Now whilst it's all well and good having these huge battery banks, how do we charge those battery banks? And on this unit, it's taken care of by these two ports here. So let's take a look at the various options of charging this unit via these two inlets. And the most simplest way to charge this and the way I charged it a couple of days ago was by using this power brick via 240 volt supply. Really quick to charge this, it literally took less than two hours to charge this. And I think they estimate it can, you can charge this unit from flat within about five hours just using this brick. And you simply plug this brick into this socket here using this round pin, I can try and do it one handed. So once you've plugged it into there, you simply plug this into your wall socket. Now one thing I did notice is that when you plug this into the mains power supply, it doesn't actually start charging automatically. You do actually need to switch it on via this switch. If you don't switch it on, nothing will happen. It will not switch itself on automatically and start charging. You do need to switch this on for it to start to charge. So don't make the same mistake I made by simply plugging everything in, plugging it into the wall socket and walking away. Coming back a couple of hours later to realise it hasn't started charging because I didn't switch it on. Rookie mistake. <laughs> now I probably won't be using this feature very often because I don't really have access to 240 volt unless I stay on a campsite of course. But that doesn't happen very often. But Bluetti have come up with another solution for this and that is this power charging enhancer and with this I can plug this into my cigarette lighter socket and once again plug this into the high voltage input and now I can charge my Bluetti whilst I drive my van and the good thing about this is I can also use the solar input at the same time so I've no need to unplug the solar input and use my cigarette light socket I can actually replace that and use this at the same time and this for me is a real game changer because this means I don't have to keep unplugging and plugging things back in again I can just leave this permanently connected to my van so every time I drive my van it charges my Bluetti AC200 Although I must stress this is sold separately, it is an optional extra. It does not come in the package with the Bluetti AC200. You will need to buy this as an optional extra. So now let's take a look at other ways we can charge this unit off grid using this blue DC input here. And Bluetti do actually supply you with various adapter cables. So we start by plugging this cable into this blue socket here and on the other end of here you have this yellow plug and then using this yellow plug you can either plug in your 12 volt cigarette lighter socket or your MC4 connectors into your solar panel and 
the nice thing about this is they do give you this MC4 cable so you can use pretty much any solar panel you'd like and on the roof of my van I have a 360 watt solar panel which is 34 volts and the downside of my solar panel is that I'm very limited to what solar panel controllers I can use but luckily the Bluetti can take up to 145 volts so I can actually string some solar panels together to give me more voltage and more wattage and this can take an astonishing 900 watt solar array with a maximum voltage of 145 volts so if you're lucky to have a huge solar array on your van and you're parked up at a camper van site say you can plug this in to the mains max out the solar array you will then be able to charge this little under two hours incredible absolutely astonishing but like i say i've only got 360 watts on my roof so uh, it'd be interesting to see how long it takes me to charge this on a sunny day using just my one single solar panel but again the nice thing about this is if i did want to upgrade my solar panels i can and this unit will have no problems taking a bigger solar array if i so choose to add another solar panel and that for me is a win-win situation Right, so now our battery's fully charged, let's take a look at how we can actually take advantage of all that power stored within this unit via these functions. So let's start off by talking about the inverter that's built into this unit. It is a pure sine wave inverter that delivers 2200 watts, which means it's safe to use pretty much anything. You can use your air fryer or even your laptop, it's all good to go. Talking about laptops, it also has a USB-C connector here which is 100 watts so you can even plug your laptop straight into the DC outlet you don't even need to turn your inverter on which will save you a lot of power but like I say if you did choose to plug your laptop into the inverter side of things then it's all safe it's all good to go and the nice thing about this unit is you do actually have four outlets yeah so you've got four 240 volt outlets the bottom one is the standard way up the top one oddly enough is upside down bit strange that but I guess it makes sense because they're on top of each other the top one won't interfere with the bottom one because your plugs are opposite way rounds does that make sense anyway look if I lift these up you can see I've got to say I'm not a fan of these rubber covers <laughs> but anyway that aside let's take a closer look at the DC side of things after all this is what I'm going to be using when I install this into my camper van and a really good thing about this apart from the USB outlets is the fact that it's got a 12 volt 30 amp outlet and this I've not seen on any other unit if I lift this flap up here you can see it's quite a substantial plug and you have to buy a separate lead for this the lead doesn't come with the unit and it just so happens I brought one earlier on in the week if I can find it so this is the lead that I've brought and I'm going to use this lead to connect this unit up to my entire van so this will eventually power my entire camper van using this socket here which goes into there it also has the standard 12 volt cigarette light socket as well and also the usual two little tiny 12 volt outlets but this is the one I'm interested in this is the one I'm going to be using like I say with this lead that I brought separately to wire it up into my van and that is why I'm so excited about this because this is the only unit like I say that has this 30 amp outlet and that's the reason I was going to actually buy one of these boy am I excited to try this out can't wait to get this plugged into my van so let's take a look at the screen and what this screen does and the functions on this it's a touch screen you can actually touch it and it will illuminate and on the screen in the middle there and well, let me just zoom you in a bit because I can't don't think you can see here we go I should try and get this in the right light up oh, there we go perfect so here's the home screen as you can see in the center you've got the state of charge at the moment I'm at 73 percent we can turn our inverter on or off using this button our DC supply on and off using this button also you can turn these on and off using the app on your phone yes it's got Bluetooth connectivity so you can actually control this with your phone we'll talk about that a little bit later now we've got some sub menus we've got settings here various settings the one here that is quite interesting is the fact that when you plug it your solar panels in you have to make sure PV is switched on if you want to use your alternator to charge this you need to switch it over to other it doesn't switch automatically 
So basically you're turning the MPPT charge controller on and off by switching it manually like this. Well, I don't know if that's quite a, a good thing or a bad thing. But anyway, other sub menus are information and a few settings there like screen brightness. You can turn the brightness up and down and other functions there. And also factory resets. We won't do that. We'll just go back. You've got um, how much power is going out and how much power is coming in. So when you're charging, this will tell you how much you're charging by and vice versa. So there's the home screen and that's pretty much all you really need to know. Everything you need to know is on this screen here. It's not too technical, it's not too difficult to understand. Really simply laid out. That I do really like. So now let's talk about the app that it comes with this, the new Bluetti app. We'll just put that there. I shall find my phone and show you the app. So here's the Bluetti app home screen. This is really simple and really easy to understand. You're simply in the middle of the screen, you can see their state of charge. And using this app, you can actually turn functions on and off. So if you want to turn the inverter on, you just simply click that. And you can see it's on and off. And the same goes for the DC side of things. Simply press it and it switches the DC supply on and off. You can even turn the whole unit off. You can press the center button, it turns the Bluetti off. The only thing is, press OK there, you can turn it off using this app. Once it's switched off, as you can see it's now gone off, you can't actually turn it back on using the app because it is off. <laughs> now although you can't turn it back on using the app, I'd still think it's a nice little function. Say for instance you're all tucked up in bed and you suddenly think, oh I left something switched on, grab your phone and switch it off completely from the comfort of your bed. <laughs> Although in the morning, you're going to need to physically turn it back on again. But at least you've had a peaceful night's sleep. Now talking about mobile phones and apps, you can actually charge your mobile phone by simply placing it on top of the Bluetti because it has induction charging ports on top. I'll try and tip it over so you can see. <laughs> oh, it is heavy. Uh, there you go. And there's two on top of this unit. Now talking about weight, it actually weighs 28 kilos, I believe, or 28.1 kilos to be precise. It's a pretty heavy beast, but bearing in mind my four AGM batteries weigh that each, <laughs> I think by replacing my AGM batteries with this unit, I'm going to save myself quite a lot of weight in my van, which means I'll save a lot of fuel when I'm driving around. And with the price of fuel nowadays, that can't be a bad thing. Talking about price is probably what you're wondering. How much do these cost? Well, if you go to Bluetti's website right now, they are on there for £1,999. But don't let that put you off because I will try and get a discount code from Bluetti. And if I do manage to get a discount code from them, I'll put that discount code below in the description of this video, along with a link to Bluetti's website. And also these are available on Amazon as well and sometimes you can get deals on Amazon with discount codes as well and if I can get that I will also put a link down below to Amazon purely for your convenience. Now you're probably wondering do I have any criticisms about this unit? Well not quite yet because I haven't actually put it to the test. I will be installing, well I will be attempting to install this AC200 Max into my camper van in a permanent way if I can. The only concern I've got is that you can only charge it either by solar panel or 12 volt separately. You have to manually switch it from PV to other to swap it over from alternator to solar panels. But saying that, I have actually done some research and Bluetti do sell a power pack adapter type thing where you can actually plug 12 volt into the DC input, but you do need an adapter. And I'm hoping I can get hold of one of those adapters, plug my 12 volt into the DC socket and have my solar panels into the AC socket. Therefore, I can use my alternator to charge this unit at the same time as using the solar panels on my roof. Not quite sure if that is possible, but that is an experiment that I do plan on carrying out later on when I install this into my van. And I will also be making videos giving you updates on how this is working out, amongst other videos as well. Well, I hope you found this video mildly entertaining and informative. If you did, then please do give us a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. I really do appreciate your support. Ta-la for now.